Few movies will shock you at every turn, but that is the case for Night of the Sicario, which followed two DEA agents who are tasked with transporting a key witness and end up ambushed and hiding for their lives. Take a look. If we find it and we give it to them, they'll go away. Are you sure? I don't know. Okay. I'm gonna get out of here. If I can get you out of this house, do you think you can run to one of the nearby neighbors? And you can get this house. Find somewhere safe for you. Let's go. Come on. And star Natasha Hinstridge joins us now. Hey, Natasha, how are you considering everything going on in the world and you doing everything from home yourself? <laughs> I know it's been a it's been a wild time. Yeah, I'm in I'm back in quarantine in Canadian quarantine right now. So I haven't been outside in two weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. But I'm good otherwise. <laughs> Wow. Okay. Well, I know you are going to run around like, you know. <laughs> okay. Let's talk about this movie. As a yes. viewer, you are on the edge of your doggone seat. When you first read the script, um, does it jump off the page like it does when you're seeing it on screen? Like, could you feel that rhythm when you were reading the script for the first time? It's definitely one of those, there, it doesn't stop, it doesn't slow down much, you know, it's one of those kind of cat and mouse sort of games, and, and so you know it's going to be high intensity, and it's going to be that sort of thing the entire movie, um, and you see that when you're reading it, for sure, for sure, yeah. So you played Taylor, and it's her senior care facility where they end up hiding for the night, but not all is what it seems, as she has her own situation going on, tell us what you can without giving too much away. My character is sort of taken over her parents' retirement home community, assisted living community. And she's going through her own burdens and financial burdens. And, there, and there's a storm and they're having to shelter in place and then sort of wrong place, wrong time. And, and all hell breaks loose, basically. Not only is all of this stuff going on, but then there's a storm, right? Then and there's, there's a storm on top of it, right? It's like how other, what are the other ways? It's like the quarantine. What are the other ways in which we can trap these people inside in this <laughs> film so yeah now as I, I mentioned earlier that it keeps you on the edge of your seat it is action-packed to say the least but the director has said there's so much heart to the film which makes it different um it's about family both the one you are born into and the one that you choose what made you connect most of this what made you say yes to this I, I have to say exactly what we were just talking about the um the community of people that my character is taking care of is it, you know, it, it, it's not just, it's not just running around and, and sort of trying to save your life. There is a connection. There is a dynamic with that, with those characters and there's such care there. Um, so I thought that was really fun. I thought all of those characters were really well sort of fleshed out and that was a lot of fun to play with them. So let's talk about um, Dickstown though. Uh, mm -hmm. It was announced that Fox picked up season one. Let me tell you, I stumbled across this one and I love this show. Just yeah. tell people who may not have found this yet what it's about. Well, Dickstown takes place in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, which is where I am right now to shoot season three. Well, it's based on actually our creator of the show, um, Floyd is a lawyer, was a lawyer here in town. It's about the community here in Halifax. And um, it's, the yeah. it's the small communities that can't afford to, to hire the big fancy attorneys. And basically the cases that we find ourselves in these small sort of townships and, and small communities. And it's just an amazing cast. The writing's excellent. It's a really, it's a really good show. I'm telling you, it is such a good show. Um, and I'm excited that season three is coming. Based a little bit on your social media, uh, my producers have said that you are a bit of a reality TV expert. Is that true? Do you lean into the guilty <laughs> reality TV? Yes, I'm so, it's, it's so bad. When my friends and I watched The Bachelor on Monday nights, we call it book club. We literally call, hey, are we doing book club on Monday night? And we while around other people because we're so embarrassed to be such fans of that show and very, many others married at first sight 90 day fiance I love it. I just love them yeah I have a little thing for it I do oh, well so I want to let everybody know that night of the Sicario is out on demand and digital right now Natasha thank you so much thank you such a pleasure to talk to you